One of the most common manifestations of misogyny is the attempt by men to control what women can and cannot wear. And it seems to me that at least one of these religions would be trying to force women to wear less, but it invariably goes the other way. Start with a bunch of sexually frustrated clerics sick and tired of being reminded of all the sex they won't have, toss in a bunch of chauvinistic followers who can't get over the fact that nobody gets to fuck all of us, and before you know it, women are mandated to wear a hefty bag with an eye slit. The burqa is probably the most egregious example of this brand of sexism that most of us are all familiar with, but it rears its ugly head in all the religions from time to time. Just look at Catholicism. Sure, all the nuns are basically two cheeks and a chin away from a burqa anyway, but their attempt to control how much ankle is showing goes way beyond that. For example, the DeLone Catholic High School in Pennsylvania is taking a bold stand against visible flesh by requiring all prom goers to send pictures of their prom dress for pre-approval. Oh, I'm sorry, did I say all the prom goers? I just meant the ones in the dresses. A number of parents and students have pushed back against this move, which they describe as outdated and unrealistic, especially since they announced this policy well after many of the girls would have purchased their prom dresses anyway. The school brushed off their objections by reminding them that it's a religious school, so outdated and unrealistic is kind of their mission statement. Of course, not all attempts to control what women wear come from the same place. Most of the time, it's an effort to overcome sexual inadequacy through shame. But there are also times that it's just because you're a raging asshole. And playing the part of the raging asshole this week is the clerk at a children's clothing store in Texas who publicly accused a mother of child abuse when she let her five-year-old daughter try on a boy's suit. According to the mother, her daughter doesn't care for frilly dresses and prefers to wear a suit and tie for Easter. But apparently that wasn't cutting it with the clerk at Martha's Miniatures, who lost her shit to such a degree that the little girl was crying when they left the store. And in case you're wondering, this isn't exactly a he-said-she-said said situation either. After the incident, a friend of the mother posted about it on the store's Facebook page, and the clerk defended her actions by saying, quote, I was shocked she asked for a boy's suit for the child. I asked her why she was encouraging this. This is child abuse from the mother, end quote. It's a good thing that states like Indiana and Arkansas are moving to make sure that stores that do stuff like this won't get punished, huh? I've got a lot of other stories I could cover this week, of course, but sadly, they're all even more depressing than a five-year-old getting publicly shamed for wanting to wear a vest. So I guess we'll wrap it up here. But I do want to thank all of the people who send me stories for this segment one more time. Even if I don't use the stories that you send, I really appreciate your help. Please keep them coming. And with that, I'll hand things back to Noah and Heath.